fourth and last day in Mar del Plata, Argentina for the 2011 Star South American Championship and the heat is on for the last two races. The winds were light as yesterday which meant a very strategic play for all the podium positions. The first start had a partial recall. As you can see in the aerial shot, most boats decided to go to the favourable pin end side and some started early. Gastel Bruin had an excellent start, while Zanetti, his main rival for the bronze medal, had a particularly bad one. Pascalato managed to be the first boat on the pin end side, but had low pressure on his sails and was very close to being blanketed by other boats. Lars Grail knew he could get the gold if he performed just above average in the last day. He was careful and took no risks at the starting procedure. Gastel Brun continued with an almost faultless upwind strategy, controlling his competitors in the middle of the race area. However, he could not do anything when Pascalato's risky move of going as far left as possible paid off. Pascalato rounded the first mark with significant difference. Brun and Grail had to settle for the second and third position. The downwind leg brought few changes and the boat started the second upwind at the same positions. Grail, knowing that he was one step closer to the gold medal, made good decisions and managed to come closer to Pascalato in the upwind. Then he continued to reduce Pascalato's lead and was even close to stealing away his win. Although Brun stayed in the third position, that was enough for him to take the bronze medal away from Zanetti. Let's have a look at the final results. Brazil dominated the podium positions in the third stop of the fleet racing tour. The team of Grail and Seyford were clearly the best among them, taking small calculated risks and coming out on top with six points of difference. Argentina had to settle for the fourth and fifth position since Zanetti had a bad last day and Brun from Brazil did an excellent job at the last races. Brazil proved it is one of the strongest teams in the international star class and that it has good chances for an Olympic medal in London. Stay with the Fleet Racing Tour as we move to the fourth stop for 2011 in France for the 470 Spring Cup.